Good afternoon, everybody. It's Monday, May the 21st, the day after the Las Vegas Golden Knights have qualified for the Stanley Cup Finals. We're going to talk a lot about the Las Vegas Golden Knights from uh, from here until the finals, but um, today I just want to talk about a couple of things about general managers. So I want to talk about the news that just came out that looks like Lou Lamorello is uh, going to be hired by the New York Islanders to become their GM and possibly their president. <clears throat> and um, I want to talk a little bit about George McPhee, who is probably, um, you know, the most successful GM this year, obviously, for, for what he has done for the Las Vegas Golden Knights. So, as you guys know, I'm a huge Leaf fan, and um, Lou Lamorello, um, a couple of weeks ago, was um, basically said, uh, had, basically was not fired, but uh, demoted, I guess, from a GM to an advisory role. And it looks like Lou Lamorello is not ready to retire. 75 years old, almost 76 when the season will start. Um, it looks like the Islanders are going to hire him. Now his son is the assistant general manager of the Islanders to um, guard Snow. Um, so I thought, you know, this was a perfect opportunity for for um, Lou to retire. Just take an advisory role, but obviously he wasn't ready. So Lou Lamorello was replaced by Kyle Dubas. Totally different opposites. One is um, a gentleman in his 30s, um, a total different, not a, a new school guy, analytical guy. Um, basically, um, you know, his whole strategy is based on analytics, and that's where the NHL is going with um, with all the new fancy stats, the five-on-five -five stats. Um, but Lou Lamorello, obviously, as we know, is old school, and uh, maybe time has passed him. And a couple of things, Lou Lamorello has some interesting... Um, things that he has, his rules. So with, on Lou Lamorello's teams, you cannot have a beard, you cannot have long hair, and Lou doesn't like um, large numbers over 30. So, yeah, he's totally old school. Um, some people believe that, like I said, time has passed him by, and we'll see what he'll do with the Islanders. Now, the Islanders are <clears throat> in an interesting situation. Um, they are, uh, you know, July 1st is coming up, and on July 1st, their superstar a franchise player, John Tavares, will be up for uh, free agency. What will they do? Now, there were reports out that Lou Lamorello met with John Tavares last week, still as a member of the Los, uh, Toronto Maple Leafs, officially anyways. And I don't know how I feel about that, because there's also some rumblings that the Leafs want to make a push for John Tavares, bring him home, hometown boy, add him to an amazing team that we already have, and to get us over the hump. Um, but now Lou knows all the secrets and he's going to go talk to the to talk to Tavares and make him an offer. So it's a little interesting dynamic. Um, I'm really happy with the way the Toronto Maple Leafs are. Kyle Dubas is the, the future. Kyle Dubas is a great general manager and I think he will do well. Lou Lamorello, I don't think the Islanders did a great job in my opinion. I, you know, he's a, he's a great hockey guy, but at 76 years old or 75 years old, maybe not... Uh, quite the position for Lou Lamorello. The Islanders basically need to sign John Tavares. The Islanders need to get a goaltender. Well, Lou has an amazing record with goaltenders, so if he's going to be able to pull out, um, if he can bring Marty Brodeur back out of retirement and rewind the clock 10 years, the Islanders will be Stanley Cup contenders. However, I don't know if he can do that. So, we wish Lou Lamorello the best of luck. We'll see how he does in the island. Um, Garth Snow, what's his position going to be? Is Lou going to be the president and GM, or is Lou going to be just the president? On is Garth Snow going to stay on, or is Garth Snow going to be fired? I'm not a big Garth Snow fan, to be honest. Um, it'll be interesting to see the Islanders making big moves, uh, bringing on Lou Lamorello. Now, I want to talk a little bit about George McPhee. George McPhee is the general manager that is responsible um, for fleecing the rest of the NHL. We've talked about this at length. My last video got a lot of views, got a lot of play, got a lot of hate, um, where I said that I will boycott the NHL if the Las Vegas Golden Knights win the Stanley Cup, and I will hold true to that. If they do, I will boycott. We'll talk about more of that as the Stanley Cup final approaches. But George McPhee put this team together. George McPhee didn't make the rules, all right? George McPhee had a great rules, great players to choose from, and uh, it's interesting you point out, the team paid $500 million. So the other general managers and owners are not complaining for the 17 million, 16 to 17 million they put in their pocket from the Las Vegas Golden Knights. So, yeah, Las Vegas is in the Stanley Cup final, 
but they paid for it. You know, they paid for it out of their pocket, and all the other teams got fat because of it. $17 million is not a joke, you know, especially for some small market teams. You know, it might not be a lot of money for teams like Toronto, Rangers, uh, you know, big market teams, but some small market teams like a Phoenix, a Winnipeg, Arizona, like, like Phoenix, Arizona, I meant Winnipeg, um, you know, Ottawa, $17 million is a lot of money. So, the, yeah, the GMs got fleeced, but George McPhee didn't make the rules. So he he was he went with the rules that he had. Now, George McPhee is not a is not a you know a young guy. So look at the history he's had. In 1994, as a, a director of hockey operations in Vancouver, he took that team to the Stanley Cup final in 1994. He took it to seven games. However, he couldn't get by Mark Messier, who called the shot and he said he was going to win Game Seven, and he did. So. You know, he was right there, 94. Now, in 97, uh, he took, he was a general manager the first year in 97, 98 uh, of the Capitals. And he took that team to the Stanley Cup Finals. However, that year, he ran into the juggernaut that is the Detroit Red Wings. Okay? So, he lost in four straight games there. Now, this year, he orchestrates a team of... Essentially rejects, essentially players that other teams did not want, and he takes them to the Stanley Cup Final. All right. Now, not only that, the team that he built, the team that he drafted, the team that he put together, the Washington Capitals, are two games away from the Stanley Cup Final. How awesome would it be if George McPhee faces off against his old team, the Washington Capitals? So there you have it. Two two GMs, two separate uh, two separate situations. Lou Lamarella and George McPhee. One other thing I wanted to touch on with this Las Vegas Golden Knights business, because I study this team. I look at the roster. I look at their salaries. I look at how this team was put together. I still don't get it. I know some of you guys think, oh yes, work ethic and uh, you know rah rah. We come together as a as a team and we can overcome all obstacles. Yeah, that's great in Hollywood. Yeah, that's great, and maybe in kids' sports, okay? This is the professionals. This is the, this is the NHL. Things don't work like that. So, okay, there is some truth to it. Maybe, you know, you don't have players like cancers on the team. You know, teams that, the players that are overpaid and, you know, teams that, players that will bring the rest of your team down. There's so much of that, though. However, you look at the lineup. You look at the players on there. This team does not have... Uh, a superstar. This team, Mark Chisot was the only guy that had some recent success. Obviously, James Neal. Um, and uh, there's no def there's no defenseman on that roster that you could have said, yeah, I'll put that defenseman on any team and play him 30 minutes. No. And, and then you talk about, and then people talk about, oh, they got Flurry. All right, so Flurry had a great year. But however, Flurry was injured quite a bit of the year. So Malcolm Subban, right? He, of the previous two NHL game experience with the Boston Bruins, two. So the rookie, Malcolm Subban, comes in. He plays 19 games. He wins 13 of them. 13, 4, and 2 with a 268 goals against average and a 910 save percentage. This is Malcolm Subban, right? This is not Flurry. People saying, oh, Flurry took this team all the way from, you know, yeah, he's playing an unbelievable playoff. Yeah, he pro the, the Golden Knights probably are not in the Stanley Cup Final without Marc-Andre Mark Fleury. But that's not the whole story. This team is doing it. This team is, has some Vegas mojo magic. And I give it to them. Yeah, I don't want them to win the Cup. I have my reasons. But, you know, I give it to them. George McPhee put this team together. as a. I've, I've been playing NHL fantasy hockey. I'm in a league for the last 20 years. Same guys. And I've never won. But this is basically what he did. It's like a fantasy hockey league. He went, he got a list of players that were available to him. He put it together. He basically won against, you know, powerhouses, you know. He beat every single one of them. He's in the Stanley Cup final. How did he do it? George McPhee should be the obviously the executive of the year, the greatest general manager managing season of all time because we actually he didn't just come in and take over a team and say, "Okay, we made the finals now, made a couple of trades." He art ar he was the architect of this team all right obviously Gerard Gallant has a lot to do with it and obviously don't take it away from the players who have a lot to do with it but yeah I still don't understand um I worship you George McPhee 
Um, you've done an amazing job. This is not your first rodeo. You've gone to the Stanley Cup Finals three times. Maybe this is the final time that you're going to win. And maybe it's not. We will see. Congratulations to George McPhee. Congratulations to Lula Morello. Right now, as I uh, finish this and start uploading it, the Washington Capitol Tampa Bay Lightning game is about to start. Game six. Who's going to win? Are we going to have our two Stanley Cup finalists by the end of tonight? Very possible. However, I don't care who you want to win. We want Game 7. We want Game 7 Washington Capitals. It'll be more exciting, even if you're uh, just a casual observer. So, this is Serge Bogosian, the hockey guru, telling you, George McPhee is a god. We'll be back tomorrow. Enjoy the game tonight. And to all you Las Vegas Golden Knight fans that are showing me some hate, Hey, I'll take it. Send me all the hate mail. Put your comments below. Put your thumbs down below. I appreciate everything you guys have for me. Serge Bogosian, the Hockey Guru. We'll see you tomorrow. Enjoy the evening.